We've covered the traps, the shadow skills, and even the charges available to the assassin in Diablo 2. So today we deliver the finishing blow with the last four assassin skills. Dragon Talon, Dragon Claw, Dragon Tail, and Dragon Flight. The finishing moves that have some interesting perks and mechanics that are ripe for your exploitation. Starting at the top with the most popular of the moves, we have Dragon Talon, the multi-kick attack, or essentially jab but with your feet. The Dragon Talon, as most kicks, has some weird things to take into account account while you're using it, such as while your base damage is determined by the boots you wear, the range and speed of your kick attacks are determined by the range and speed of your weapon in hand. So you do want to use a fast weapon, and if you can pull it off, one with an okay range adder too. The most common use of Dragon Talon is to either combine it with the chance to cast skills like the ever popular Riftsin, or to combo it into a charge up skill such as Phoenix Strike to unleash all three charges in extremely quick succession, faster than any normal attack can. This is because while Dragon Talon does benefit from item boosts and auras, it actually does not get the benefits you would expect on attacks, with things like Grief's Damage Plus or even normal plus minimum or maximum damage being useless, enhanced damage to demons or undead is completely ignored as well, and things such as Claw Mastery, Critical Strike, or even Deadly Strike are not going to help the damage output either. So you need these off damage effects to augment it basically. This means stacking chance to cast, crushing blow, and elemental damage effects to really get the most out of many of the kick skills. Now, one skill that does not suffer from this frustrating reality is the only non-kick skill in the finishing moves, Dragon Claw, which is special in that it itself instead requires wielding dual claws to actually use. This skill, sadly, does not really have much that makes it stand out outside of that though, since it's essentially a two-strike attack with claws in quick succession in a manner that behaves pretty much exactly like the Barbarian Double Swing, just more weapon limited. With 2.4, this is good for releasing two charges though, and makes it a not uncommon pairing with Dragonflight to knock out all three charges on a specific target, though you do get a lot less flexibility due to its restriction to claws. Third up, we return to playing footsie with the enemy faces, this time with the more mechanically complex kick, Dragon Tail. And I'll say right now, if you come from playing other classes, this skill will not behave how you expect. This is because it obeys its own, weirdly specific set of rules. Like Dragon Talon, its base damage is determined by boots, its range and speed are determined by your weapon, but the weirdness starts happening when we talk about the Dragon Talon's special effect a fire explosion with knockback. This is because the radial fire damage, instead of being based on your outgoing damage, is instead determined by the damage you deal to the target. So for example, if you kick something with zero physical resistances, your radial fire damage will behave how you would normally expect, dealing that percent of your damage is fire and knocking stuff back. But where you'll notice the quirk is when you kick a physical immune enemy. You'll notice that the fire damage will do nothing. That's right, if you do zero physical damage, the fire effect will deal zero damage, since any percent times zero will be, well, zero. Similarly, if you convert a lot of your damage to another element, for example with Fists of Fire charges, you'll greatly reduce your Dragon Talon damage since you're no longer dealing much physical at all. That said, this can be used to your advantage though when you know about it. Since you have the ability to greatly enhance your physical damage with skills like Tiger Strike, you can lower enemy physical resist with curses like Amplified Damage, and you can even pump up the fire damage of the skill more since it does work with enhanced fire damage effects, which means you get the ability to stack percents rather than just adding them together like most attacks. Though don't forget, Dragon Tail does suffer from the kick limitations mentioned on Dragon Talon, so definitely think twice about what mod modifiers you go for on your equipment. The last and more utility focused skill in the finishing move set is the one that is a little less incentivized with 2.4, and that is Dragonflight. Before 2.4, it was a solid finisher since you would use all your charges on one strike regardless. Now it's relegated to being just a decent finisher that is used mostly to reposition you, your mercenary, and your shadow in a fight. And while it follows pretty much the same rules as the other kick skills, there is one exception. Dragonflight has a fixed animation length that cannot be improved. So whether you have great or terrible attack speed, cast speed, or whatever, it will still be a relatively slow attack. 
The big nice thing about the skill though is that it gives you a lot more mobility without needing to rely on items like Enigma or risk lowering your defense by just running to a situation, since while teleporting you are still considered stationary, so your defense and block are unaffected. And since you can reposition with it, you can use it to pinpoint your primary target a lot easier than with other finishing skills. And it has given rise to the Dragon Flight into Dragon Talon combo to fully release charges or even Dragon Claw if you're using Dual Claw. And while this is not my favorite, there are quite a few season players that swear by it. I just find it a little hotkey heavy for my personal tastes. So what is your favorite finishing move and which charges do you use with it? Mention it down below and if you need a refresher on those charges, check out the links on screen now. And as always, keep gaming, have fun, and peace out. This has been Alzareth. Bye.